and all of your burdens. I know the Lord will help you to bear. today. Every time I'm in a sanctuary, I come expecting God to move. And when you come expecting, he have a tendency to do just that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just worship with us this morning. Please just open up to him. Allow him to move.
Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are across the desert I travel near our far for your glory I will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory
I just thank God for Jesus. You know, uh, Philippians 4 and 13 tell us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I count on it. And I'm just going to try to sing this, and I know with this help, I'll do my best. And I just ask for you to pray for me. Because I made up my mind a long time ago. I'm going with Jesus. And I'm going all the way. Y'all give me a hand. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. All the way. I'm going with Jesus. I'm going with Jesus. All the way. All the way. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. You can't turn me.
Come on, keep your hands going. Keep on, keep on putting your hands together. Songwriter say, I'm going with Jesus all the way. And I'm going to have to go after I have to go all by myself. Now somebody say, heaven is my goal. Each and every day. I got to keep on moving. Moving in the right way. El Son said, I just got to heaven and I can't sit down. Y'all just won't sit down. Just gonna keep on standing. I ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. God a hand praise. Give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. Thank you, choir, for a job well done. Amen. We want to give a special thanks to little Miss, little Miss Lenny. Amen. The, the Lord is continually bringing her back this way in her voice. Amen. So we we thank God for as well as it is. We thank him for his grace and his mercy. But the songwriter said, I'm going with Jesus all the way. Not some of the way, not part of the way, but it's an all of the way. And sometime I may have to go through the valley, but I'm going to continue to follow him. Sometime I may have to go over the mountain, but... I'm going to stay with the Lord, amen, because I know at the end of this race, God has a place for me, amen, and on my way to that place, I have to go through the valley sometimes, sometimes I have to cry late in the midnight hour, but I'm going on home with Jesus, I'm going all the way, you can't stop me, you can't block me. You can't shake me over. No, I'm, I'm going with Jesus all the way. Greater Rose of Sharon, let us stay with the Lord. Come what may, stay with the Lord, amen. Stay with the Lord, amen. Don't, don't, don't jump ship on him, amen, because things not going your way. You just stay with the Lord, amen. God has a place, amen, for all of us, amen. He has a blessing for all of us. The third chapter of the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter number three. Daniel chapter number three, amen. Uh, I want to begin reading that verse number 15. I preached this two or three, maybe four years ago. I might have been less than that, but I'm going to preach it again. Uh, amen, the third chapter of Daniel, beginning reading at verse number 15. Daniel 3 and 15. Yeah. 
If you have it, let it be known by saying amen. amen. Now if ye be ready, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the sopry, and doctor, and all kind of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well. But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Yeah. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Yeah. Verse 16 says, Shadrach, Meshach, and the Abednego answered and said unto the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful uh, to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And if he will, and he will deliver us out of your hands, O king. Verse number 18 says, But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Amen. I want to talk about, amen, don't stoop when it's time to stand. Don't you stoop when it's time to stand, amen. Don't you stoop down when it's time, amen, to stand. I understand the text said bow, but for the sake of preaching, let me use the word stoop, amen. Don't you stoop, amen, when it's time, amen, uh, to stand. Amen. You know, in this life, as we travel towards heaven, uh, the devil is doing all that he can to cause us to turn around. He will uh, attack your mind. He will attack your physical body. Amen. He will attack your emotion. Uh, he will do all he can. Amen. To uh, uh, cause us, amen, to bow down to him. But I want to serve notice on the devil today that I will not stoop when it's time to stand up for the Lord. Amen. There is such a time as standing time. And I want you all to know that the uh, child of God, you don't have, God don't give you the right to have no breaks when it comes down to standing for him. We have to stand at all time for the Lord. Somebody say you have to keep your guards up at all times. Because if you're not mighty careful when you let your guard down, that's when the devil, amen, will come in and call and try to get you to bow down to, to what he's got going on. And I need you to know that, listen, whatever, I don't care how good it looks, whatever the devil got going on in his playground, I promise you one thing, it's not good for a child of God. It's not good for God's people, amen. So I, I want to say to you this morning, listen, let us continue to, to stand, amen, on uh, for the Lord. Don't, don't stoop down, amen, when it's time, amen, to, to, to stand, amen. Listen, if there ever was a, a time, amen, that God's people need to stand, uh, the time is right now. By standing for that which is right, we can defeat the devil. Have you ever wondered why is it that the devil is looking like he's uh, in charge? Why he's uh, running rampant right now and why he's uh, attacking your life and why he's sitting you back sometime? Listen, it is because, listen, we, we, we're giving the devil too much credit. We are playing with the devil too much. Amen. Uh, listen, you have to keep your eyes stayed on, on the master, amen. You cannot bow down, to, amen, to the cares and the concern of the enemy, amen, because he's there, amen. And Peter said like this, uh, Satan is trying to, uh, to sift us, amen. That's what Jesus said to say that to Peter that Satan is trying to sift you, amen. And he would love to sift us today. Satan would love to take you and ground, ground you up into small pieces, little bitty pieces, something that he could just blow around, something that he could just push around. But I want to encourage you, Greater Rosa Sharon, to stand with the Lord. 
Don't, don't, don't bow down to, amen, to cares of uh, Satan. Don't stoop when it is time to stand. Listen, there is uh, a lot of a lot riding uh, on us. There's a lot riding on us. Listen, there's somebody else want to be just like you. There is someone always watching you because they see you on Sunday morning. Uh, dress up in your three-piece suit. They see you on Sunday morning, leaving out of your house, headed towards God's house. They see you on Sunday morning uh, with two or three Bibles under your arm. And, and listen, they are wondering, amen, uh, what's going on in your life. And listen, some people are looking at us, amen. And listen, we are the only Bible that some people will read. Some, will, there are some people who want to pattern themselves just like you. And, and when you when people are watching you, there's a lot riding on us. Jesus said, ye are the light of what? The world. And he said for us to let our light so shine that man will see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. And listen, man, listen, if we continue to stoop down and bow down to this, to this act of Satan, listen, God don't get no glory out of our life. So I, I, I said to, all, to us, listen, the heart, amen, and the soul of mankind is, is, is dependent on the way you and I live our life. Listen, you got some godly character. Don't let the devil rob you from your godly character. Yeah, he, he, he wants you to bow down. He wants you involved in the thing that, that he has going on. And how many of you all know that, listen, if you, if you don't, amen, bow down to the devil the first time, yeah. he's so intelligent, yeah. he'll come back to you, and he'll give you another chance. Yeah. Listen, the devil is not going to fall out with you because, amen, I cut that thing on. The devil is not going to fall out with you because you don't bow down the first time he come at you. Uh, he's got time. He'll wait and give you a couple more minutes, a couple more weeks, and come back to you. You understand what I'm saying? But why in the, in the two months, he'll do all he can to try to plant some more doubt in your mind. He'll come back to you. He's just that, he's just that crafter. Say to me, amen. I need you to know, remember, uh, the world has nothing of value to offer God's people. The world. Nothing of value to offer God's people. I, I saw men, they man, one on, on Tuesday with a pocket full of money. Yeah. And on Thursday, they don't know where they're going to get the next meal. Yeah. So I, all I'm thinking, all the things that I'm saying to you, listen, only what you get from Christ will last. And only what you do for him will last. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Listen. Listen, don't, don't get caught up in this fast-moving world society that we are, are living in. Amen. I think I told you a few days ago, a lot of us, we don't want to go through anything. But, oh, I found out why you are going through. A lot of time you form a, a good relationship with God while you are going through some things. See, you got to understand, amen, in order for you to get to what God has for you, sometimes you got to go through some stuff. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But what I love about it today, if I got to go through stuff, amen, to get to what God has for me, I don't have to go by myself. Y'all just sit there. Let me preach to you. I don't have to go through it by myself. I got a God. Yes, I have. I brag on him. Yeah. I've got a God. I've got one that he, he have never failed me yet. Yeah. I didn't say it. Sometimes it looked like that he failed me. Sometimes it looked like that he forgot about me. But I kept on following him. And when I got around the car, yeah. <laughs> when I got over the hills, I saw what God had for me. And it was better than the stuff I had back yonder. Eyes have not seen. 
ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man all of the good things that God has in store for me. That tells me that my, 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 my future looks better than my past. I got a pretty good present. But I'll tell you what, my, listen, my future looks better than my present. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You just got to hold on to God's son changing hand. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. When you stand for that which is right, don't be surprised. Don't be dismayed if you have to stand by yourself. Y'all hear what I'm saying? You thought your closest friend would go with you to the end. But I come to let you know one thing. When you make up in your mind, amen, that you're going to stand for the Lord, a lot of times you'll find yourself standing all by yourself. You'll be surprised how friendship dissolves when you start standing for, y'all hear what I'm saying? The Lord, amen, your so-called friend, but just because you have changed partners, they'll turn around and try to wreck your life. You hear what I'm saying? But don't you stoop down when it's time to stand. You stand still. Having done all to stand, stand therefore. Listen, when you done done all you know to stand and gave it your best effort, then the Bible says stand therefore. Lord, how am I going to continue to stand? And I done gave it my best effort. Stand therefore. Listen, if you give it your best effort, you just put yourself in a good position for the Lord to reach down and grab you. You understand what I'm saying? By the hand and pull you through. See, sometimes some of us are working too, too hard and too fast on our own. We're trying to build our own path. We're trying to make our own empire. We walked off and left the Lord, but God told Moses to tell the people, I'm the same God that I was yesterday. I'm the same God that I was when you was in Egypt. I told him to stand still. Stand still. I just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And you know, I wondered about that, but I discovered one thing. If I'm working, God is working. And if I'm working... I can't see God working because I'm too busy trying to do it myself. But the Lord said, take a seat. Take a seat. You need to see what I can do for you. I'm the same God that stepped out on the face of nothing and said, let there be. I'm the same God that came rolling down through Babylon, tearing down our God. I'm the same God. Same God, I don't change. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And you don't have to stoop down because guess what? I'm always with you. The Hebrew boys. The Hebrew boys. These three men, the Lord had them bless them. Amen. They were in a they was in a strange land. And it wasn't the three of them. But listen, it was a sea full of uh, y'all hear what I'm saying? The other enemy. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But God had to bless them. He had to bless them. And listen, the one that lived, amen, there, God had to bless them above the one that already was in the relatives of the place. God blessed them. And how, how many of you all know that when the Lord bless you? I said, when the Lord bless you. Let me say that again. When the Lord bless you. The devil will try to mess you. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But I want you to know when God bless you, can't no devil in hell tear you down. When God exalts you, and God will exalt you, God will exalt you for being steadfast. You wonder why you moved up around somebody on the job you just got to the job? Maybe it was because you didn't stoop down for the cares of this world. Some have been here, here have been praying for a job a long time, and, and they kept on praying. No doubt the enemy said, you're not going to get a job, but they kept on praying. No doubt the enemy said, yeah, the job that you get is not going to be worth having, but you just kept right on praying. And lo and behold, well, after a while, at God's own appointed time, God bless you with a job. God shower you with a job. 
a better job than what you had, a better job than you expected because you did not bow down. I'm going to preach a long time this morning. Y'all hear what I'm saying? All you got to do is stand on God's word. I discovered if you just stay on his word and get your eyes off a of sideline distraction. Get your eyes off a of sideline distraction. I can promise you one thing. The grass is not that green on that side. And you're not as super as you just used to be. You done slowed down. You're not fast and frisky as you used to be. Do it. Do, can I just go and preach to you? Uh, don't, 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 don't think you got the world in the jug and the cork in and you sitting on top of the cork. It's not like that anymore. You struggling and straining, just trying to make it like everybody else. God don't give you, don't grant you no special favor. God just wants you to stand still. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And don't bow down for, amen, the sake of the devil. These three boys, he, Shadrach, Meshach, and the Billigo, amen, they were there. And the king never said never. He set up an image. He set up a golden image. And he told everybody at the sound of the music. I want everybody to bow down and worship the golden image. And what you, if you wish to be golden image, you're worshiping me. At the sound of the music, just bow down. And, and just let, listen, let everybody, let me know where your allegiance are. Just bow down when the music starts. Just bow down. The Bible said that when the music started the first time, they didn't bow. I no doubt they looked at the thing and said, listen, it looked like the odds are against us. It looks like we don't really have a, a chance. We look like three sticks in the sea of water. But then they said, we remember that we got a God. That we got a God that don't live here, but he lives yonder. And because he lives yonder, uh, he's still able to look here. And take care of us. So the scripture said when the music started. They didn't bow down. Yeah. And lo and behold. And they weren't the only ones that didn't bow. Because somebody told the king. Listen king. Those three boys. Those Hebrew boys. The one that you have elevated. The one that you have exalted. or is around, One that you have placed over your affair. Above us. Those three boys. All three of them. Let me the one I'm bow down. They stood up and kept looking up. It's a good thing to look up. Y'all hear what I'm saying? One writer said, I look to the hills from which come in my help and all. And my help come from, anybody know what I'm talking about? From the hills. Y'all hear what I'm saying? The Bible said that they didn't bow down, so the king got upset. And when the king got upset, amen, uh, according to the record, the Bible said that the king went to him and said, now listen, I got word that you guys, out of all that I've done to you, for you, you kind of made me look bad. All the thing I want you to do is just bow down. All you had to do is do like my people, they man, they want, just bow down. But you refused to bow down. You made me, you made me look a little bad. But I tell you what, if, if, I'm going to give you another chance. If, if, listen, if you, I'm going to give you another chance, and if you do it this time, I'll forget about it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But listen, I, I want you to know one thing. You don't need the devil giving you another chance. Y'all hear what I'm saying? If you don't bow, if the first time he tried to give you another chance, tell him he's alive. I'm not going to bow. I'm going to stand. Y'all hear what I'm saying? For that which is strife. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So I want you to know one thing. If you put it all in God's hand, if you forget about yourself, y'all hear what I'm saying? In many times, the reason why we're not able to stand, many times, the reason why we are stupid, y'all hear what I'm saying? It's because we are 
hung up on ourselves. We got our arm around ourselves. We're hugging ourselves. We're kissing ourselves. We're making love to ourselves. When all of that activity goes on about yourself, don't you know that you put in God out of the pasture? There ought to be two chairs in your life. Two chairs. There ought to be a captain chair. There ought to be a student chair. And guess what? God ought to be in the captain chair. You ought to be in the student chair. But what's going to happen? Some of us have not God out of the captain chair. We done crawled up in the captain chair, and now we done put God in the student chair. I want you to know it won't work like that. Get your mind off yourself. If you want to continue to stand and be what the Lord wants you to be. Listen, the Lord did not bow down. They gave them another chance, but they still didn't bow down. And I want you to know that, listen, uh, there's a reason for what we do in life. Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Whatever we do, we have a reason for doing it. And the boy did not bow down. If you will look at verse number 17 and verse number 18, you will see, amen, the reason why they did not bow down. It's right here in verse number 17 and verse number 18, the reason why they did not bow down. Listen to what it says. If be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us, O king, out of thy hand. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor will we worship the golden image which thou hast set up. The reason why, listen, that was a reason why they did not bow down. And the reason why they did not bow down, because they were the full assurance. Watch this now. That God was able to take care of them. If they had had some kind of doubt that he was not able, they would have bowed down. They didn't brag on themselves. They bragged on God. The reason why we are not going to bow down because we know beyond a shadow of doubt. We know that all of the odds are against us the way it looks. But we know that beyond a shadow of doubt that the God that we serve, uh, he's able to deliver us. Now you ask us, who's going to save us out of my hand? Who's going to deliver you out of my, us out of your hand? Well, our God, he's able to deliver us. The God that you and I serve. Listen, them boys said, listen, we've been serving him for a long time. He brought us through the valley. He had brought us through the storm of life. Let me ask a question. Is there anybody here that God have brought through the storm of life? Is there anybody here that God have brought you through some dry places? Is there anybody here that ever been in the valley of life and, and looked around and God exalted you out of, uh, y'all don't hear me, the valley that you was in? Because, listen, that's a good reason not to bow down. You might not have a pocket full of money. Might not be driving the longest car in town. But I'll, I'll discover that, listen, if a broke man bow down, God is able <laughs> to give the broke man everything that he need if he just bow down. Y'all, if he, if, he, if he just stand for what's right. If he don't bow down, God is able to give a broke man what he needs. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So all the things that I say to you this morning, greater rose of Sharon, let us not bow down. I don't know about you, but I have a reason. I say I have a good reason not to bow down because God has been so good to me. And I don't care what I'm confronted with. I, listen, I'm just crazy enough to believe that God's going to take care of me. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh, somebody said, put it all in his hand. Somebody said, I put this. I put that. I put this. I turn around and put that in his hand. I put this, this in his hand. 
I put this, this in his hand. And then one writer said, I put this, this, this in his hand. I put this, 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 this in his hand. And everything that I put in his hand, while I was trying to work it out, God had already worked it out. That's my reason. Y'all hear what I'm saying? For not bowing down. Because I feel like the Hebrew boy, the God that I serve, y'all don't hear me, is able to keep me when I'm falling. Not only did they have a reason for not bowing down, but I discovered one thing, Lee. If you don't bow down, if you stand your ground, if you just stay steadfast, there is a reward for not bowing down. Y'all hear what I'm saying? God got a reward for you if you don't bow down. Listen, don't think if you don't bow down, you're going to continue to be empty handed. God says, you don't bow down, I'll fill your hand. I'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Amen. As a reward for not bowing down. These boys, listen, verse number 24 and 25. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was a studies and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselor, Did not we cast in three men bound in and, to, and said unto the, and they answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Uh, uh, he answered and said, Lo, huh? Did not we throw in three? But the king said, Lo, I know we one, two, three. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. One, 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 equal to three. Two and one, equal to three. One and two, equal to three. Did not we cast in three? Y'all hear what I'm saying? But now, uh, but no, I see four walking around in the midst of the fire. And they have no height and the form of Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Off the fourth, it's like, it's like the, the Son of God. Yeah. They didn't stand. They had a reason not to stoop down. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And, and, and they had a, a reason to hold on to God's hand. But I need you to know, if you don't bow down, not only does God have a reason, amen, a, a, a blessing for you for not bowing down. But I want you to know that, listen, God has a reward for you if you don't bow down. And the reward is in uh, verse number 24 and 25. The king said, did not we throw in three men? But, lo, I see four men walking around in the fiery furnace. And the reward is, y'all hear what I'm saying? These men, even though they were put into the, the fiery furnace, but in one thing, the, their reward was uh, they were able to see Jesus uh, and meet Jesus before he went to Calvary. Y'all hear what I'm saying? If you continue to stand, uh, for that which is right. If you don't stoop down uh, and bow down to the devil, God got a reward for you. God will allow you to have something that you did not work for. God will allow you to live in a house that you did not build. Or eat off a fruit tree that you did not plant. God have a reward for those of us who stand with him. The Hebrew boy said, we're not going to bow down because we feel like that we have a reward waiting on us. I don't know what y'all, but Paul said, I press toward the mark for the pride of the higher calling of God in Christ Jesus. He said, I press toward the mark. Watch this. 
for the prize. He didn't say, I press for the prize. And then the mark, he said, I press for the mark of the prize. What are you talking about, Paul? Paul says the mark is right here. The mark in loving folks that hate you. The mark is forgiving people that won't love you. The mark is on this side of Jordan. And he said that we can press toward the mark. If we can reach the mark on this side. When light battle is fought and the victory is all over. The pride is on the other side. There the crown of life. I just want to reach the mark. I just want to get to, I want to reach the mark. I know where the prize is. When this life is over, then I'll get the prize. You hear what I'm saying? God got a crown of life waiting on me. They did not draw down. They continued to stand. Is there anybody in here? I'm not going to even look up. Is there anybody in here that's willing to stand for the Lord? Have you made up in your mind that you're not going to stoop down when it's time to stand? The men, they had a reason not to bow down. And their reason for not bowing down because they had the assurance that God was able to take care of them. Can I get a witness? Not only that, but they received, amen, a reward for not bowing down. And the reward was when they were cast into the fiery furnace, amen, Jesus showed up there in the midst of the fiery furnace. What a reward! Y'all hear what I'm saying? But I need you to know one thing. There, there is a result of not bowing down. Anybody want to see know what the result is? For not bowing down. If you look at verse number 28, the results is in verse number 28 for not buying down. Watch this here. And sometimes the results, see, we all, we, we, listen, we want the, the results to include us. But all of the time, the results don't include you. Matter of fact, the way the kingdom of God works. When you do that which is right, most of the time, the results involve somebody else. I know I said something. If you go to sleep, you ought to woke up then. Most of the time, the results involve somebody else. Because they didn't bow down, there was a results. Of them standing for the Lord. Listen what verse number 28 said. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Nebuchadnezzar, uh, who sent his angel and delivered his servant that trusted in him and have charged the king's word, have uh, changed the king's word, and yield their body that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Now, the results. The results of them not bound down. The results did not affect them. The results did not affect their kinfolk. But the results, the results, y'all do know Nebuchadnezzar, don't you? He was the king, right? And he did not believe in God. Matter of fact, he worked against God. He did everything against God. He denied God. He defiled God. Uh, he, he did not respect God. But because these men did not bow down to his image, because they did not stoop down, the results of them standing strong was that after all of this took place, the Bible said King Nebuchadnezzar. He turned around and blessed God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Otherwise, the enemy turned around 
and bless the, the creator. The enemy turn around and bless God Almighty. The enemy turn around and worship God. The enemy turn around and praise God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because they did not bow down. Because of their steadfastness, the enemy was able to get a shot, uh, not a snapshot, but a full-blown picture of God. Listen, my life, the life that I live, and the life that you live, what's going on is we live it in so raggedy that the enemy is only able to get a snapshot of God. A snapshot of God. You do know what a snapshot is. But when you stand for what's right, like the Hebrew boy, the enemy could get a full-blown picture of God in your life. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to leave you. But I tell you to hold on. I said, hold on to God's unchanging hand. I said, hold on. Don't you let the devil wreck your life. I don't care what he's doing. And what are you trying to present to you? You hold on to God's unchanging hand. One writer said, uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Oh, can I get a witness? I heard one writer said, God will supply all of your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, I don't know about y'all this morning, uh, but I'm going to stand. Uh, I'm not going to stoop down uh, for the cares of this world. Uh, the reason why I'm going to stand, uh, because one Friday evening, uh, one Friday, uh, anybody know anything about Friday? Anybody know anything about Friday? Uh, Friday, he died out on the cross. Uh, and listen, one thing about it. If money don't make you move, if Tuesday don't make you move, if Wednesday don't make you move, if Thursday don't make you move, Friday, oh, Friday, Friday ought to make your way in your hand. If you don't stand on your feet, Friday ought to cause you to move. Friday, he died. But early. Early, early, Sunday morning, he got up. Anybody know he got up? He got up. He looked up with all power, all power in heaven and earth is in his hand. So I said to you, as I go to my seat, don't you stoop when the time to stand. You take a stand. One thing I discovered, if you lose friend for standing for what's right, God will do you like he did Job. And if, you, if, you, if, you, if you, lose, you lose a husband for standing for what's right, keep standing for what's right. He gave Job double what he had. I'm not going to say he's going to give you two of them. But he will give you something to choose from. <laughs> Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So all the things that I'm saying, listen, just stand tall. Don't you bow down for the sake of the devil. Listen. Listen. Y'all get it. Y'all get it, baby. Come up here with me, baby. Come up here with the families. You stand right there. Listen, the door of the church is open. You can come by letter. Christian experience. Lenny, come here. Uh, uh, Tanya, you see you're talking. Come on to <laughs> Lee Anthony, come over here. Can you come over here? Let me just let me just do something. Y'all don't know it either. Come on up here with me. Come on up here with me. A little song said, I don't know about you, but I've been born again. 
Is there anybody here that know you've been born again? I say, is there anybody here that, come, preach it, you come out. You preach it, come out, preach it, that know you've been born again. I want to do a little old song now. It's an old song, that's all I know, a little old song. But while we sing, if there's anyone here that want to come, you may come. A little song that goes something like this. Oh, I don't know about you children. I don't know about you children. Oh, let me tell you now, I don't know about you children. I've been to the river, I've been baptized, I've been born. Well, I don't know about you children. I don't know about you children. Oh, let me tell you now, I don't know about you children. Sanctify children. Say that sanctify children. Don't you know what I'm saying that sanctify children? You know I'm yeah. I've got the Holy Ghost children. Oh, I've got the Holy Ghost children. Well, I got the Holy Ghost, children. You know, I've been to the river, I've been baptized. Well, I've been born. I've been born. I've been born. I've been born. Well, I know I've been born again. Well, I know I've been born again. Well, I know I've been born again. I've been washed in the blood. I've been washed in the blood. I've been washed in the blood. In the blood of the Lamb. Well, I know somebody knowing. Well, I know somebody knowing. Oh, if you know you've been born again. Oh, if you know you've been born again. Oh, let me see you wave your hand. Oh, let me see you wave your hand. Stand up on your feet. And let everybody know uh, you've been born again. I've been washed in the blood. I've been washed in the blood. I've been washed in the blood. I've been washed to wash to wash to wash to wash to wash to wash to wash. I've been I've been born. I've been born. I've been born. Well, I don't know about you, children. Oh, I don't know about you children. Oh, let me tell you now, I don't know about you children. No, I've been to the river. Hey! Hey! Have you? Have you? have you God bless you God bless you we see that there's none but there's plenty of good room there's plenty of good room and listen as we make ready to go if you don't remember nothing else remember be assured within yourself that whatever you have to go through God is able to take care of you. Don't swap God off for something that looks shiny. See, there's a lot of shiny looking stuff. It's not good for you. God bless you, Brother Deacon. God bless you, Brother Deacon. We see that there's none, but there's plenty of room in my father's house. Sister
That's that old court history. Y'all don't know that's that old court history up there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Let Alan play. Come on, Alan. Oh, I see. Look at Yeah, Alan got a noise in the corner, too. Listen, 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 guys. Yeah, let me let me dismiss. Y'all call one another and get together this week. <laughs> call one another and get together this week. Amen. <laughs> listen. We ought to be able to come in God's house. We belong to God. And you know what? Church should not be sad. That ought to be some joy in God's house. If you, listen, if you come in God's house and you're so mean and mad and bad that you can't stand your clothes to touch you, you, you hear what I'm saying? We ought to be able to enjoy one another. Amen. Amen. Thank you, musician. Thank you, choir. Our musicians, thank God for you all. Amen. I see the part of the male chorus. Amen. Helped our choir this morning. Listen, let me say something. <clears throat> God's work, write this down, is going to get done with you or without you. It's going to be done. Never think that you can stop what God has started. It won't happen. It won't happen. No. Listen, uh, Robin, if you will, let us hear from you.